Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel for another search tutorial. In this video, thanks to someone who asked about it in the comment section, I'm gonna discuss the car plus strong synthesis, which isn't something I haven't talked about or talked about already. I mean, it's just something I haven't called like that because car plus strong synthesis is nothing but, uh, well, the more technical name for a specific way of using comb filters to make uh, physical modeling synthesis. So let's let's get talking about it then. You know, what are we waiting for? So here we are with uh, Surge, with its interface, its wonderful Royal Surge skin, which I really like. It's so relaxing and soothing. And uh, I will use a template. You know, here among templates, there is this wonderful init car plus strong and what is in this patch? Sounds like this. And what we have is we have uh, no oscillators as they're all muted. And there is noise, which is also well, not muted, but it's to zero. But there is this envelope one controlling its uh, its amount. And envelope one has this shape. So it's just a short burst of noise. We could make it even shorter. Making almost no change in the patch, actually. Uh, the thing is, this is basically all car plus strong synthesis is, you know, sending a noise pulse through a tuned comb filter, which is basically just a tuned micro delay and uh, making a stringing sounds out of it. It has a bunch of applications. You can do a lot of different things, you know, just going slightly out of its definition, you know, just changing the shape of this envelope, for example, can can get you this type this type of effect which I previously used if you followed my channel for long enough in my strings video to give you know a light little, little bit more of a physical realism uh, lay, layer or you know finish to my strings when made you know just play with oscillators and uh, pulse width modulations and things like that but uh, Another thing you can do about it, of course, is changing what you're sending to it. I mean, I could send it something tuned already, which would go out of the scope of uh, car plus strong, strictly speaking. But I could also make it say, for example, make my noise pulse slightly different into in its uh, frequency content. So here you see this noise color controls is like a high pass filter on the right and a low pass filter on the left. And here you see we get something. We can get it. We can get it. We can get it slightly mellower and darker, which maybe maybe it's a little more playable and less offensive to the ear if you if you're into that. So, this is the basic idea. But we can do a lot more with this synth. Yes, because this is not the only way to do car plus strong in uh, search. The other way is using this. There is a string oscillator. And a string oscillator is nothing but a small car plus strong, synthes car plus strong synthesizer in one oscillator. By the way, car plus strong has nothing to do with strength. Uh, Mr. Strong was a person. Here you see strong is capitalized. It's not just strong person. It's Mr. Strong, like Mark Strong, you know, the actor. Anyway, here we have this thing and you get all the, all the parameters you want. There is the exciter, which we can decide what shape it is. It can be a burst of noise, of pink noise. Uh, we can actually make it continuous, constant noise and then control with an envelope its volume to make it, you know, more controllable, more customizable. Or we could also send it something tuned or some audio from outside, which can be quite interesting as, you know, you could get it tuned. I mean, I really liked in a couple of my tracks, I did this thing of having, you know, like a drum loop or some percussions go through a comb filter, which is actually being controlled by a MIDI clip. So that, you know, it's moving in tuning and getting interesting effects. I showed that thing too, in one of my previous videos about comb filters anyway. And um, here, this doesn't all, all, only do that. What we have is we have uh, two strings. This decay is nothing but the, the resonance of my uh, uh, I added filter two, not filter one. Let's go to filter two. You know, this is nothing but the resonance of my uh, my strings. I can make it. 
much lower, I can change uh, the relative tuning of my two strings, which as you know, we're talking about sending noise through two uh, comb filters in parallel. And, and we can change how much we hear of the first and how much we hear of the second. We can make it make them have different resonance. And uh, we can, of course, decide the relative volume. And we can check this thing here, which is this stiffness. Stiffness is nothing but a filter just like this one from Noise Caller put inside the feedback loop of our delay, which is which is the comb filter. And which gives us this type of effect, which is kind of interesting. Now this, you will agree, sounds quite mechanical and quite interesting, you know, even just with a little bit of saturation it would sound a little bit you know more vintagey somehow in a way or another and less desperately clean but we can do more than this what we can do is you know going back to my the original suggestion is combining two different synthesis techniques into making a single patch say here i have my this oscillator one i set to fm2 i'll change the ratio to something higher let's say four or five let's get another lfo to become another envelope and this envelope will be set in a way that, you know, I will use this envelope to control the M1 amount, which is. And I will also at this point decide that I want, I need to hear it. Now it's a little bit too loud, definitely. Actually a little more than a little bit too loud. And the uh, oscillator two is a little bit too bright. We're getting somewhere interesting, don't you think? I mean, I think I, I think we are. And also at this point, if we wanted a little more playable, I would add some velocity sensitivity to the whole patch, like adding some to the amp overall and then going to my envelope one and envelope two and reduce the amplitude but then make it make it scale with velocity so that you know a harder note will have more envelope on it and that you know it will give it more you know timbral variety while I'm playing it. I like it. Uh, but then, you know, we could still, you know, think about, say, finishing it somehow, giving it a little more character. We could do something with uh, release velocity so that, you know, we add some noise when we leave a key, if we feel, we feel, if we feel so inclined. Or we could add some effect just straight ahead and consider it done. Say, reverb 2, I'm going to go for this warm hall, make it 100% wet, add some of it. Just some of it and maybe let's say what else I mean we could use a tape emulation which would do great on this this one or the one that we find in air windows they're both very interesting or we could go for let's say a rotary speaker it's kind of nice isn't it uh, let's go for this slow rotary speaker <laughs> It's quite a nice patch already, isn't it? I mean, I like it, and uh, if, I, if you don't, I'm sorry. I will make more interesting patches for you sometime, but not today. And so, uh, what I was mentioning in the title, saying hybrid synthesis, was all about the idea of saying, hey, you see, right here I'm doing some physical modeling synthesis and I'm using it in parallel with some FM synthesis, but this is not stopping me from using a filter. Why, I mean, why should I stop myself from using a filter? Say, for example, I use this legacy letter, which has this wonderful characteristic. You see, you can set it to be 60 dB, 12 dB, 18 dB, you know, one, two, three, or four poles. I'm gonna go for a 60 dB, give it some lower resonance. I'm fine with the key tracking to the max, actually, but no, maybe I might want it a little lower. And then, a little more open. This adds a little more color and I think it's 
quite a nice thing to do, you know, to add some uh, this little bit of color to it. And I could also add some uh, some control on this filter from an envelope. <laughs> and get my sound differently interesting. I could do a lot more things. I mean, I have a whole a, a whole lot of filter free. I could change this. I mean, th since I did all that, I could also go to 12 dB and maybe get it. like it um, I'm happy with it. it 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 works it's I don't know if it's exactly what uh, uh, that guy in the comment section asked for but I hope it's something similar to it anyway uh, yeah I think I've said everything I have to say I mean the, the thing was explaining car plus soft strong synthesis and pointing out the kind of obvious philosophical detail that you are not forced to use you know one type of synthesis at a time you know you can combine them together you can think of all the tools you have in your sound design toolbox to make your own sounds and make them more interesting more varied more creative actually a little even harder somehow to reverse engineer i mean you hear a sound like this you hear a sound like this and you wonder how was this made well there's there isn't that there isn't that much work you see i mean this video is, is short i mean i did this thing in less than 10 minutes but but it's not too immediate to understand what is actually going on in this patch because actually there is a lot going on and there's a lot of things that can change you know i only used one operator i could want to use second operator in this fm thing let's say let's make this a lot brighter but let's say the amount we want to control the amount with envelope one which is shorter <laughs> give it a little bit more, more richness or actually we could actually also do a little bit of offset here so that there you see a little little detuned and all the details we could get into about FM synthesis even this this feedback would get it we get it much different and we could actually make some feedback being velocity dependent I like it I really do and well yeah I'm actually quite surprised I ended up uh, saying everything I wanted to say in such a short time but I'm happy about it for once I had a video full of full of content and it didn't last a half an hour or so so I hope you digest it quicker and you're happy with it as much as I am so this said thank you for staying with me not this long but long enough and uh, if you have you clearly like what I'm talking about so I please I invite you to check down here now actually down here there is a subscribe button you know you click on it and you subscribe to the channel and that would mean make me immensely happy in the description of the video, you will find a link to my Gumroad where you can find patches for Vital and very soon a big pack of patches for this synth. I'm working on them, I'm refining them, I'm making them nicer, mapping the macros, making them, you know, usable, like the patches I already made for Vital. You know, I, I really like to keep that type of standard, that level. I really don't like patches that are, you know, there's un unmapped MIDI controls and things like that. You know, where, wherever there is some change that you might be immediately accessible, I like making patches playable and usable and usable. And that's, that's what I want to do. I mean, maybe give some value to my content. Beyond that, there is a link to Deep Tons Production I'm cooperating with. If you fancy some one-on-one um, -on -one mentoring on sound design with me or with some other people or with some other, a lot of other interesting professionals about several different audio topics, just check out that website and we do that and a lot of other interesting uh, audio related services and there are also links to my music if you want to know what I do beyond uh, talking to a microphone and a camera and playing the synth with uh, my amazing sound design skills this said 
thank you very much for your attention and uh, see you soon at my next video i don't know what it's gonna be about maybe it's gonna be back about vital maybe i'm gonna talk about doing uh, real fm in odin which is very interesting or maybe i'm gonna say something else about search if you have, I have ideas you can just just ask you know just check out in the comments or write down something hey talk to me about this thing i want to know how this works and i don't know if i can if i can i will I will do my best to make you happy as I did to one of yours just making this video. So again, thanks for your attention and bye.